Hello everybody and welcome back, I'm Count Christo, thank you ever so very very much for joining me. Today, it's BICE once more with feeling, and we are about to launch a major campaign. Beginning in Latvia, and uh, driving north into Estonia. We will need to rapidly capture air bases from which to deploy our glorious close air support. Fighters already taking to the air. Tanks in position, ready to be deployed. Now, are any of these tanks not actually there because they're down here because they haven't got supply? No, we can actually fit them all in. We will let the tanks gain a little bit of uh, a planning bonus before we actually launch the main offensive. Oh, hello. None of that. None of that. Uh, we're going to need some new... Oh, God, yes. Uh, we're going to need some new partisan suppression. Uh, let's get on that. I have the divisions to make it happen. You have 4.3. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 will do it. 3.6. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2. And here we're looking at 100% resistance. My God. 3.9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Is this a separate one? I think that's the same one. Good. And then you guys can hang out here now. Good. Okay. Well, extra troops. Moving in to suppress them should be okay once they get there. Got to remember to redo that every time the front moves forwards. It's one of those things we just have to deal with. The Soviet resistance is fierce. The partisans are very much active. Good. Okay, up here. Going to wait on that planning bonus. Very slightly oversupply, um, but not critically, not yet. Good. Guys moving south. These guys are going to be dealt with by the local suppression police. You guys need to remember that that is your position to return to. Okay, just a little bit. One more step here. And we'll be where I want to be. Good. You guys want to launch this. Good. Supply down here. It's not great. Uh, so we will begin to withdraw tanks from the front. I don't know if they have to go that far back anymore, though. Uh, let's adjust the tank fullback to reflect the fact that this is the new non-combat front. The infantry fallback can do likewise. This is the uh, you know the second line infantry. We don't want don't want them filling up supply, but we do want them close to the front so that they're not uh, far away if we face a serious Soviet offensive and decide that we need them. Let's open up another angle of attack here. If one of you would just sweep through here, that would be marvellous. And here we've got 0.4 growth, so let's grab up a few of these guys. Uh, here, 0.4. Probably a lot of it is from resistance and neighbouring, so it's not actually going to need quite as many as you might think to put that down. Hold this off. Just hold the line for now. Yeah, let's switch to a hold the line perspective here for a second. Hold, 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 hold. A planning bonus will see us through here, I think. We've got a lot of planes deployed over the right region. We are overstacking some places. I guess I took and then lost this airbase. Um, so. Ah, oh, no. We, we lost Odessa at one point or something? I'm not sure how that happened. Um, so, 750 can go here. Boom, boom. And you'll need permissions. And you guys, half of you, also down here. Good. And once they're actually properly deployed, we should start to see things turn around here on the eastern front. We can do another 100 down here. And one... Mm, nowhere else. We're also overstacking up here. How did this happen? Some of you guys fall back. Two of you guys fall back. How did that happen? I am confused. Oh well, not important. In the north, planning bonus about half done. Very soon we'll be ready to launch a major offensive there. Uh, yeah, just, just hold here for now. Tanks in the region, concentrate yourselves down here. Supply. Slowly coming back under control once we have the infrastructure repaired. I have high hopes. And we also have an extra supply zone down here, which is great. Give me that infrastructure repair. Absolute priority, please. Need that done. 
pronto. Naval look counter pair, however, not at all prioritized. Good. Okay. Resources still providing problem. Nothing I can do about that, really, on the trade perspective of two of them, but for steel, the Vichy French will help us out. All right. Planning bonus acquired. Uh, infantry presence insufficient, I would say. Let's take two of these guys. Put them back here. And now you're overstacked, actually. Is anyone understacked? Yeah, you. Where are you deployed? Wait, what? I thought I... What? I th I... I'm confused. You three. You guys, go back on this front. Right, you're one over now. So you, go back under here. Okay, you are three over. So these three can go in the reserve infantry. Good. Which should really be deployed forwards a bit. Good. Now you guys are going to stand by. Let's delete some of these needless fallbacks. You guys are going to stand by right here. Ready to rush in and take up space on the front if needed. Good. Let's kick it off, shall we? Uh, I think we'll begin with an offensive here. Supported from two directions. Get that frontage up. Get those panzers in. We are unfortunately being pierced. The, uh, oh, at least by their mechanized. Their infantry are not piercing my light tanks, which is nice. You guys, this is actually an attack move for you and you. You're the one leaving, so one of you should not be involved. Okay. Breaking them here with good speed. Have five of you move in here. Six of you move like this. Good. It's going to be about speed this. If we can rampage through, occupy all this territory very, very quickly, we're likely to... Uh, our odds of succeeding go way up if we can prevent them from establishing like a second defensive line against us. Um, we will need infantry cover as we rampage forwards, but uh, that's all right. We have infantry here, and we have spare infantry if the need should arise. In the south, things have stabilized. Let's try an assault. Looking pretty good. Tanks come up here to a block a potential counter encircle. Tanks still going in. Good. It's going to be straight up here to the rip to the uh, the lake, the name of which I learned yesterday, but I have already forgotten. Uh, you guys don't allow them to cause any problems. If you want to drive them back. They're remobilizing along this front, it looks like. Let's just gain some territory then. Anytime your enemy starts doing like a mass redeploy, often good to just strike at them, just to prevent whatever it is they're trying to do. We will redo the Enigma codes. They are moving to encircle us here, fair enough. We'll drive them back a step then. While our reinforcements move in, obviously taking these guys a long time because they have to cross that uh, major river. You guys want to keep driving north. You guys can split up a bit. Good. Okay, that airbase is in this tile. Excellent. We'll have that under our control very shortly. Let's drive them back, drive them back. Right, first airbase, first offensive airbase. Captured. I want three CAS in here immediately. And now we can push up to the river. Get me that port. This time this attack is happening with much greater supply in the region. Much more efficient air cover and much, much more speed. I'm feeling very confident about this as compared to our previous offensive in the region think we're going to be able to pull this off. It's going to be uh, it's going to be tough, for sure. Things could still turn against us. The crossing here, though. The cast entering the fray is going to help. A big, ta big deal. Got room for 500. A big deal. Yeah, that's how you talk. A big... <laughs> a lot, is what I'm trying to say. Good lord. You cast. Get up here. Okay, some overruns. Keep pressure on them. Supply stabilizing, honestly. Um, I think you guys are going to be responsible for 
this part of the front. Let's get you up here with all due haste. The rest of the infantry concentrate down here. This bit we can close up with tanks. Good. Fence is progressing nicely. Nicely. Good. So let's see if we can cut down here. Like this. And pocket this section of the front. That attack probably shouldn't have been carried out. We need to drive them back anyway. More overruns and the port falls. Look at that. Look at that. We fought so hard for this area earlier. Now we're just rampaging. Excellent. Our improved technology is helping out a lot. Uh, I did take all my men out of this area, which has resulted in massive uprising. So let's deal with that. How much was it? Gonna need 12 guys. Head on down. And if some of you could come and deal with the existing uprising, that'd be good. Don't really want to lose Sevastopol, but it looks like we are going to. All along this front, supply situation stabilizing. Lives of the troops improving. We could get a bit of a push out here. That would be nice. Finally take that port. Sorry, that uh, air base. Good. Noir, back under our control. It was only very briefly under our control last time, as I recall. Oh, you stay down here. Yeah, supply is bad, but once we once we wrap up the rest, and let's prioritize fixing this new local infrastructure we've just captured. Good. Okay, we did push them here. Now here. This one obviously is the tough spot. No, no, no. no. Hold, 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 hold. Hold, 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 hold wish you could hold instantly. You get in there. Never mind. We'll, we'll do this more slow push out. That's fine. Or with the infantry support. Either works. Cass are now all deployed. Uh, gonna need to switch up our deployments a bit to adapt to the fact that we're now fighting over Novgorod. Good. As soon as we get our Cass deployed, the situation begins to turn dramatically to our favor. Now these tanks. Uh, we're gonna keep them on the front because we want to keep it stable. Uh, one of you could wrap that up. The rest of you tanks just move here for now. We'll make sure we keep this situation under control. Uh, we don't need tanks in the north no more. Oops. Oops. Not easy to grab the right button sometimes. There we go. Good. Good. They're readjusting. Situation holding here. Let's get one guy up here. Uh, you should both be on this, by the way. Yeah, one of you up here. Nice. Let's just drive in here. I want to I wanna get the territory. Lock down this new front. Good. Nice. Nice, rapid Blitzkrieg offensive. I'm very pleased with that. Now we have an obvious pocket potential here. Um, cut in across this river. Cut in here to this river. And then we connect that up. Another bunch of dead Soviets. About 500,000-ish losses for the Soviets in that uh, in that operation. Not bad. Not great. Not good. Not 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 bad, really. It's a uh, fairly, fairly average casualty number, I would say. You two can help out here. Just drive them back. Good. Next. Well, we've got this pocket established. That's grand. If you want to just close that up. That would be exquisite. We've got room for 350 more planes here. They're going to be fighters for sure. Excuse me, fighters. Thank you. And we're overstacking here somehow. How is this? Ha how does this keep happening? Ah, I lost that airbase. Fair enough. Uh, so three of you pop down here. That's you full. So the one of you I sent down here can instead go here. Good. Okay. Did just get infantry here in time. We're not going to hold that, though. Uh, it's a pretty serious offensive. We might want to move some of the tanks up north to, to wipe them out. It's hard to destroy. Let's get the next one. Let's get some planes active here. You fighters. Two of you can go here. One of you can go here. Not be active. Well, we've beat overlap now. Ooh, have pocket potential here. Pinning attack, please. Ah, no, not, not a successful attack. Oh, well, they're already retreating. Never mind. 
All's well. You want to cut in here. We have got a fort here. Just causing some real problems. But... Yeah, let's get a planning bonus before we have to deal with them there. So, you... You two. Oh, no, we actually held? No, we didn't. You two. Come up here. And help us out. Good. Holding down here. Oh, God. <laughs> Vast Soviet offensive in the south. Okay. Deploy the air force. Um, that's a problem. That's a big problem. Deploy the air force in a big way. Along all sections of the front. We're going to need more... More planes in here. You guys... Fly three of you from here. One of you. Uh, God, I guess we just slightly overextended our front, and the Soviets have uh, smelt blood in the water, basically. Well, the supply situation is good uh, in many of these regions. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to deploy this this section of my infantry reserve just in a broad way along the front to attempt to uh, stall or halt the Soviet offensive and we're also going to deploy these guys you guys pop under here for me you're going to need the correct insignia and coloration and you're going to need a commander I've always liked Kurt as a general, so we'll use him. And the broad stroke. This is the super broad one, yeah. Yeah, can adjust. These guys can take the southern section. Like that. Excuse me. This one. Done. Good. With the extra infantry reinforcements and the air, I think we have a good chance of holding them off. You guys need to actually fly. Let's put you up here. Anyone else not flying? Yeah, a couple here. A couple here. Get in the air, my men. You guys. In here, please. Okay. That's what happens. As soon as they, they think that they have the chance, they, they do these huge full frontal assaults. Let's see if we can come down here a bit. Uh, one of you guys. Hold. You can come down here. You guys. Go there. Good. This is a problem. This is also a problem. We've got more guys coming. We've got the air superiority. But we're going to lose my nice defensive front line. Which is a real pain. Just a real pain. We have the supply. Give me the tanks in this real hot spot. This is where we need them right now. Okay, in the north. Things are stable. But we need to establish the new front line. Which we aren't quite able to do. Yet. We stabilize things in the north. Tanks arriving should fix things there, I think. Okay. Let's do a little less flying here, a little more flying over Belarus. Okay. Now, things here. <clears throat> Ideally, immediate counterattacks put them back on their side of the river. That's the idea. Let's see if we can pull that off. Okay, yeah, just instant, instantly counterattack, support from the sides. They're going to put themselves in multiple combats a lot of the time because they're very keen on continuing successful offensives. Yeah, do not, under any circumstances, permit holes in the front to develop. You guys, drive them back. Drive them straight back. Big support action. Looking good there. Okay, here. You guys, come on now. Help your buddies out. They've developed a hole. 
Try and exploit it if at all possible. Support the defensive and counterattack. Good. Oh, God. Big offensives in the south. Big time offensives. Uh, you. Move north. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Um, I mean, it's a, it's a problem. It's a problem. I won't tell you what ain't. Um, up here we are at least pushing them back a step. That's good. That's an okay front line right there. It's got the river defense holding them in the north. No attack at Leningrad. New infantry equipment that we should have had a long time ago. <clears throat> We're going to need to upgrade to that. Pronto. We also need uh, these. This is the light, light, light guns, right? Yeah. And the light attack. We need that too. Let's get improved infantry equipment first. So have you guys moving north? Get, get north. We need to hold these tiles. This is key, key area. <clears throat> Here is uh, room for planes. So, you're overstacked. Two of you shift down here. Okay, we need mission efficiency on these fighters. At least these fights in the air. Right, so B-Day with fighters or with Cass. You guys. So we can take that tile. Obviously across a river mostly, so not, not ideal, but they're in an offensive of their own. No, no, that's not working alright. It's fine. How about this? Potential. Two directional strike here. Also potential. Cease that offensive. Cease that offensive. Cease that offensive. Let's get these guys pocketed. You guys switch to support attack. Naval invasions being repelled. Yeah, no problems detected. Update the infantry equipment. Do, 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 do. Where is it? Where's my infantry equipment production? Is this all the infantry equipment production we have? Where's the other infantry equipment production? What the hell? No, there it is. Thank God. Okay. Uh, this one. Do we have an actual infantry equipment deficit? <clears throat> Surely not. No, no, we've got 100,000. Okay, remain calm. The nation is safe. You too. Strike at them. Strike at them. The fury of a thousand suns. It looks like they've paused their offensive. Which is ex just extremely good. If you two can cut in there and here. Then I can break them here. <clears throat> Nuclear reactor researched. That's excellent. So we keep going on that. The nukes will be our salvation. We are actually getting close now. And we're going to be able to use our re nuclear uh, our research bonus on... We should get that, really. Get the heavy water. Hope we don't get any uh, Norwegian commandos causing problems for us. Hold this. Hold this. Let's just drive them back. Let's just get the ground under our control. Okay, we held in the north. We held in the north. That's excellent. Front extended. Now, we've got seven resistance growth here. That's outrageous. Get that under control. Riga shrinking. Here, 0.38. 0.38 requires eight, I think. Go, go. Okay. They did break us here. Let's see the counteroffensive. Come on now. Excuse me. You guys. Counterfeits. Thank you. Okay. Drive them back across that river. They just built up a huge planning bonus, and it looks like they have now spent it. And they haven't taken any territory. It looks like we're going to have completely finished. They, they look spent, is what I'm saying. They look like they haven't managed to... Uh, cause serious damage here so let's let's take a moment now it's calm to reorganize the infantry front lines so we can more sensibly do this rather than having the what the, the couple of wide deployment lines okay now the very far north I'm perfectly happy with you guys are now realistically covering too much ground uh, have you 
So let's have your attack plan actually represent something real, some kind of future plan. So you guys, uh, let's have you cover to here, like that. Next should be you, really. It's actually you. So you guys move in a bit and cover this section. Like so, with a realistic future attack plan. Next is you. Cover this section. This is a key zone. We've been facing lots of attacks here. I'm not afraid to put a serious defensive line there. Like this. Next up should be Kessering. Yeah. Kessering. You take this section. Again, realistic future attack plan. With a nice looking arrow, please. He's not so sure about the nice looking arrow. There we go. Okay. Uh, actually, you go all the way down. You're not responsible for some of this. Some of this is going to be you. You're going to be holding uh, this section here. Like so. Good. Okay, to your positions, everybody. It's going to be a bit of confusion while we get to them, but once we have them all sorted, we'll be able to organize future right. supply much more easily. Um, because I'll be able to take people off one specific section of the front with a greater degree of ease. So these guys should be people leaving this area. Yes, lots of them. Good. Good. Another offensive. <sighs> Ooh, baby. I'm going to call it apart here. Uh, we're going to see what we can do to deal with this new Soviet offensive in the next episode. Until then, thanks very much for watching. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.